In this lesson, we're going to discuss text frame options. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 0712, Knowing Your Options with Text Frames, and just click Open. Why don't we start by selecting this text object. To change the options for our text frame, you have to go into your Object menu to Text Frame Options, or simply press Command-B on a Mac, Control-B on a PC. Why don't we start with the number of columns? If I click my up arrow next to Number, it's going to increase the number of columns. If nothing is happening on yours, make sure to check Preview. Then, there's the width of the frame. If I were to increase or decrease that, there will still be two columns, but the frame will be wider or narrower. And then there's the gutter, which is the space between the columns. Well, what is this about? Let me check Balanced Columns. And what it's doing is making the two columns of text about the same length. Let me uncheck that. But what about at the top over here where it says Columns Fixed Number? Well, that's what it does by default. There'll be a fixed number of columns. If I make the frame wider, it's still going to be two columns. If I make the frame narrower, it's still going to be two columns. So the number of columns is fixed. Let me increase the number of columns. How about we go to four? And I'm going to choose under the columns pop-up, fixed width. Well, why would I ever want to fix the width of a column? Well, let's say I was working as an art director at a newspaper, and I'm working on a story on a certain page, and I see that in my six-column page, there's going to be a two-column ad. So I have to make sure to leave room for the ad. Why don't we just click OK, and I'll show you what happens. Being that the width of the column is fixed, if I make the frame wider, it actually adds a column. If I make it wider than that, now I have six. Let me scroll over a little bit and show you that if now I start dragging inward, it goes back to five. So the columns are always the same width. So I never have to take out my calculator to figure out on a six column page, what is the width of four columns? Let's go back into text frame options. Simply press Command B or Control B on a PC. And instead of fixed width, we're going to choose something called flexible width. This will adjust the number of columns. You can see the number is now grayed out if you were to use alternate layout. If it needs more columns, it will add more columns. Why don't we go back to fixed number and decrease the number of columns all the way back down to one. The next section is inset spacing. By default, they are linked together. So if I were to increase just the top spacing, you can see as I increase the number, it is actually moving the text away from all four sides of my frame. If I were to unlink top, bottom, left, right, then I could control just one of the fields at a time. I'm going to relink it. But what is this about? Vertical justification. By default, it's at top which means that the text is going to start at the top of the frame or at the top inset. If I were to choose center, it should be centering it top to bottom in the frame, and it is. It's also top to bottom with the insets. Let me go to the next one, which is bottom. You can see that the baseline of the last line of text is sitting right on the inset. If there was no inset, it would be sitting on the bottom of the frame. The descenders in the line are actually going outside of the inset. Down the bottom is ignore text wrap, which is how you turn text wraps off for a particular text frame. We'll talk more about this in an upcoming lesson. Why don't we just click OK? And I just want you to notice that in the upper left-hand corner, there's something that says, this story is from the master's primary text frame. Now, we had talked about primary text frame when we were first setting up 
documents in an earlier lesson. And basically what it's about is if you had more than one text frame on a master page, this is the frame that contains the flow of text from one page to the next. Why don't we go into our Pages panel and go to our Master Page. In my Master Page, if I select a text frame, you'll see that there is a primary text frame. Let me scroll down in the Pages panel to my next Master, which is a B Master. I'm going to double click on that to go to that frame. If I click on one of the two frames, you'll see that the icon is showing that this is not the primary text flow of the document. To make this part of that primary text flow of the document, all I have to do is click on the icon. And the icon changes, showing an arrow, which means the text is flowing through it. So that way, I can have text flow from an A master to a B master to a C master and then back to an A master. It flows from page to page to page, no matter what master is being used. This frame down the bottom is not part of that text flow. So it just contains text and doesn't flow from frame to frame to frame. In the next lesson, we're going to begin to discuss styles.